CBS 8 Santa Laurel spent the day at Mesa Verde Park working for you to find out how the city picks the parks and playgrounds it pays to upgrade. Anna? This is a diverse neighborhood with immigrants and military families, but the people who live here say they feel like the city takes better care of more expensive neighborhood parks and their stays run down and neglected. I think the city's job is to make things look fair, mm -hmm. you know, equal distribution of resources. Yeah, and you don't see that? No, they haven't done anything here. Alex Timberman has lived in Mira Mesa for six years. You know, I love the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You know, I love, I love our neighborhood. I just think that we deserve better. Mesa Verde Park is the neighborhood park for his daughter to play. And I'll show you guys some uh, broken equipment over, over here. He contacted so, us at CBS 8 because he's been reaching out to the city for handle. years about yeah, problems at the park there. and says he's got nowhere. Time goes by so quickly. You know, kids become teenagers very quickly. So one year when you have playground equipment that doesn't work, I, feel, I really feel like our kids are being deprived. He first showed us the sandbox full of the old mulch from the playground and dead grass. The kids gravitate towards playing in the sand. They bring their you know, little buckets here and they play and I just feel bad for them because they've never replenished the sandbox or cleaned it or raked it. This is where the seesaw was. Correct. Should be. Yes. The playground seesaw disappeared months ago, as did a ladder that should be here. Uh, Alex missing. filled out numerous Get It Done and app reports. Those cases are still open. Every single park seems to have better equipment than the park here. But it's not just the broken or missing playground equipment that concerns families here. Homeless people live on a hill above and behind the park. They overlook the children that are playing here. Early this morning, I started reaching out to the city and to Kent Lee, the city council member representing Mira Mesa. Late today, the city called me back and says they're working on getting answers and the status of those get it done reports. They say they'll have answers later this week. I'll report those to you when I get them. So for yeah. tonight, Alex will continue to hope his Mesa Verde Park gets the attention it needs. I think people are very humble around here. And people are very friendly, but we just can't have this. No. You know, we can't have this. I think we deserve better than this. In Mira Mesa, this is Anna Laurel for CBS 8. Thanks, Anna. You can really understand his concerns when you see the condition of that park and all of the debris around it. Here at CBS 8, we do want to help you solve problems affecting you and your community. If there's an issue or a concern you'd like us to look into, email us. There's the address on your screen, workingforyou at cbs8.com.